potassium so we measure potassium in the serum that is just the 2% of the entire total body potassium because mainly potassium is in the intracellular space and approximately 2% of the potassium is in the extracellular space this is because of the sodium potassium ATP pump which transfers 3 sodium out the cell and 2 potassium inside the cell for every ATP consumption this is the main reason the potassium is increasing inside the cell why this pump is used this is used to create the voltage gradient for excitable tissues that is nerves and muscles the normal level of potassium is 3.5 to 5.5 milli equivalent per liter so let's start about hypokalemia define hypokalemia hypokalemia is the serum potassium level when less than 3.5 milli equivalent per liter what are the main causes of the hypokalemia it can be due to beta 2 agonist that is salbutamol and albuterol in inhalation diuretic use insulin alkalosis and hypothermia these are the causes which cause transcellular shift and other causes are loss such as renal loss and extra renal loss in gi loss among these the alkalosis is the main concern let's get to diagnostic approach we measure serum potassium when less than 3.5 milli equivalent per liter we first rule out transcellular shift that is these five causes beta 2 agonist diuretics insulin alkalosis and hypothermia after that we measure urine sodium sorry urine potassium if the urinary potassium is less than 30 milli equivalent per liter the cause is gi that is diarrhea if it is more than 30 milli equivalent per liter we check urinary chloride levels if the urinary chloride chloride levels is less than 15 milli equivalent per liter the causes are nasogastric drainage and alkalosis if it is more than 25 milli equivalent per liter the causes are diuretics and magnesium depletion let's to go to clinical features clinical features such as in severe hypokalemia that is when potassium is less than 2.5 milli equivalent per liter there is diffuse muscle weakness generally hypokalemia is asymptomatic but uh, in 50 percent cases there can be ecg changes can be seen what are the ecg changes in hypokalemia prominent u wave classical question flat t wave and t wave inversion can be seen qt prolongation but these are not the sole causes it can be seen in left ventricular hypertrophy this also can be seen in drugs toxins such as digitalis etc management we treat the cause first such as if the cause is transcellular shift and it is due to hypothermia then we rewarm the patient so we check measure potassium deficit first how much the potassium deficit from the normal so if it is let's suppose it is 3 milliequivalent per liter and normal range is 3.5 to 5.5 milliequivalent per liter then approximate potassium deficit is 175 milliequivalent per, lit per liter so we correct the potassium other two modalities we have syrup pot color and IV casein infusion in generally standard is 20 milliequivalent potassium ampule is 
broken in 100 ml isotonic saline and we infuse this over one hour and after one hour we measure potassium level again Thank you.